Hello and welcome to our virtual school. I'm Mr. Smith and I'm going to be showing you what we can be doing or what you can be doing while we're not at school. And to get us started, we're going to be using code.org. So do a search for code.org or type it in. When you get there, just click sign in in the top corner and you're going to continue with Google. Now, if you're already signed into Google, you probably need to sign out first. Otherwise, sign in with your school email account. The list of your email accounts will come up here. If you have to, click use another account and then just type in your school email address. I'm just going to put in my password for this one. There we go. Now I'm not going to save that. Okay, now when we get here, it's going to ask us for your account type. So you're a student. You can probably ignore that one. Um, computer students will do. Age. Well, you can find your number. Mine's here. And you can find your gender or prefer not to say. Tick the box and click go to my account. Dead simple. Okay, now there is tons to do on this website. Um, but I'm just going to show you the things to get you started. So in here, just click get started. Take you to this page. I'm going to open these things up in different tabs so you can see what's going on. Okay, one of the first things, and this looks really interesting, um, if I just open this in a new tab so we can take a look. Okay, we can meet Bill Gates. And if you put your name and email address in here and just say you're an other and submit it, they'll send you an email to let you know when Bill Gates is going live, which it looks like it's on Wednesday. Now, this is 10 a.m. Uh, but this is in America, that will be Pacific time and this will be Eastern time. Probably add another five to seven hours on that, but they'll let you know anyway. Okay, so you can have a look at that. Okay, here it is. So once you're signed up, yes, you'll get to find out when the next show is going live and you can get Zoom and interact with this. So you might even be able to ask Bill Gates, Bill Gates, um, an actual question, um, which he'll answer, or you can just watch it live on YouTube if you prefer. Okay, if you go down towards the bottom, you can see that they've had the other four episodes. So episode one, two, three, and four. And they look like they may have had some, I recognize the name of this person, but I'm probably a bit old to recognize everybody else. Anyways, let's get rid of that. Go back. Okay, you could also try the Hour of Code. There's lots of activities in here. These are the main ones, but if you go ahead and just go on more tutorials, you can see everything. Okay, All of these are built into your browser, so you don't have to download anything to do them. You can just try them. Okay, they're good fun you can have a watch of all the videos go to their video library again just open a new tab for me and go how computers work there is tons of videos all short three or four minutes long each um got confused in this one it says chris mba all-star coded in college so we did and then i read he explains functions and repeat until lots of videos okay now if you want to do a course i recommend the express course okay now if it doesn't come up there what you can do is go to my dashboard the top you can go down here and you can just find a course go on this one the express course here it is and then all you do is just click try now okay. there are loads of activities to do you can watch this video to get you started i'm just going to close that down and then just read the information okay it's most of it is about joining blocks to start with you can click this show code so you get on any problems just leave a message in the youtube comments below and we'll have a read of them and we'll try and create another video to explain something if we need to Okay, hope you're staying well. Talk to you soon.